No. <laughs> Name. Uh, we're, uh, this is I'm Ruth, Ruth Brat. Brat. I'm Lucy Trod, and together we are Trod, Trod on Brat. Brat. Uh, <laughs> we're from London. London. I was born in Luton. I was born in Canterbury. Uh, <laughs> our show is called Well Done You. It's on uh, at the Three Sisters, which is now called the Free Sisters. Uh-huh. Um, at 5.45 every day uh, from now till the 26th um, in Maggie's Chamber. Cowgate. Cowgate, yes. Edinburgh. This is my 10th uh, festival in a row. Uh, and I, I think it might, I might have a little holiday next year. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my fifth or, or possibly, yeah, fifth, I think. Yeah. 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 So I had one out to have a baby. Yeah. Done that now. I'm Done back. That. I'm back. Back with a vengeance. <laughs> I think it just changes generally. My first one was in, my very first one, my 11th one, uh, was in 1995. And it was totally different then from how it is now. Uh, and you it certainly noticed in the last 10 years how much comedy has come yeah. so like bam to the forefront of it um, but also because in the last few years with the free festival which and the free fringe uh, and we're on the free festival this year um, I think that's changed things again quite a lot because it, it it's become more corporate you know and you think it is the fringe but it's no longer the fringe and now there's a fringe of the fringe so it's quite an interesting thing how it's and just how much it's expanded and also how long it is now yeah. you know the fact that there's a thing called three weeks because it's a three-week festival but it's actually a four-week festival <laughs> and that's you know so it's it's definitely got longer and bigger um but i but i don't think thank you yeah. <laughs> they like uh, that. <laughs> uh, but i don't think it's uh I think it's a bad thing. The free it's festival seems thing. to be growing a lot, I think. And the yeah. reputation of it and the fact that people can get nominated for the awards by From being it, part yeah. of that. It's more maybe more accessible for people who don't have immediate funds, you know, £10,000 or whatever it is to bring a show to the yeah. paying fringe. So perhaps it's become more friendly. I think you can, but I think we came up with a very... Because I'm so experienced and I've done it so jaded. many times, jaded. Because I'm so <laughs> jaded. Because uh, I've been up here so many times, I think we knew what it was going to be. You know, I certainly knew what it was going to be before we came up. And um, I think you can feel the pressure, or you can just uh, put the pressure to one side and go. Well, you know, it depends what you want from the fringe. Um, and I think if you come up just to do the best show that you can do and the, and the show that you want to do rather than the show you think people want to see um, then you can avoid a lot of that pressure and yeah. you know because I've been really I was really specific about not reading reviews and it's not about you know uh, performer ego and being crushed by bad reviews or, or elated by good ones it's about knowing what we're doing and not wanting that to be altered by someone else's opinion if you know what I mean yeah. and that's not me being like I know that what we're doing is the best thing it's just I know that this is what we want to do and if you get too many opinions you start diluting what you want and I, so I, I think you, you can feel the pressure it's a, it's a different pressure see I've this is the first year I've brought our own show up mm. I've been part of Showstopper which is the other show we're doing uh, that's been up here for five years now and I was in another impro group that I um, don't talk about uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to have had that, that those experiences but to bring up your own show is another pressure because it is it is you, it's your reputation, you're putting yourself on the line to be judged by everybody. And I, I, had, I must admit to ha- having felt that in the first weeks when you know, numbers were down every, everywhere, maybe everyone's blaming the Olympics. Um, other people were reordering their sets, you know, their, their order of sketches and stuff. And, but we just stuck to what we were doing. Um, sometimes the energy in the audience was down, but we sort of worked out how to pick up the pace in between the sketches and... Uh, it's been a really big learning curve and a, and a wonderful experience, but it, yeah, it has been. I mean, there are all pressures. Consuming yeah, and, it is. The, the pressure tiring. is emotional pressure because you put emotional pressure on yourself, really, um, and it is exhausting doing it. And we you, invented a motto, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Except I got it wrong the other day. It was really funny. <laughs> it, it is um, nothing um, to lose, everything, and everything to, gain. to gain. And I was trying to tell myself that, and I was going, "Nothing to gain, everything to lose." <laughs> and then I was like, "No, I don't. I don't." That's right. Because you, th- you think, why, why do you come to the fringe? You come, you come here because you believe in the projects you're you're bringing, but you also come here to make contacts and to be seen by people and to be judged for good and bad, um, and and. And that can feel like a really big thing, but then when you think about 
we're not really losing any money by being here because we're doing the free festival and everything. We we, we are losing a bit of we're money. We're losing by a being bit here. of money, but not but not as much. You know, it's yeah. it's not, okay. So what I'm trying to say is, it's not about the money. It's not like no, we're going. Yeah. We have to make money, or we're going to not be able to feed our children. And blah, blah. you know, it's it's more about just knowing that we have stuck to our artistic integrity <laughs> um it feels like yeah. therapy now <laughs> i've been thinking about this a lot you know so um, but yeah it is about i think that's true it's you know it's you just it's very easy to be led off somewhere else by someone going well i think you should make it more conventional or you should make it make more sense or whatever the comments might be mm. that aren't helpful you know it's not yeah it's not conventional um, it's playing with because you know we call it sketch, but it's n- it's not sketch, you know, and we we're not doing the kind of standard sketch things. Sort of it's character, more character happen- happenings. happenings, yeah, <laughs> events. Uh, it's so it's we are doing something that's a little bit different, and it, it it's not that it's better or worse. It's not a value judgment. It's just slightly different, and some people struggle with it. I think. Some people come into it with the expectation that it's going to be gag, 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 get off. Next. Or that it's going to be, you know, what you know, they come in with an expectation and then that isn't what they see. Um, so that's been quite interesting. And like often people go, well, what does, it, what does that bit mean? And we're like, well, it means whatever you want it to mean. It doesn't, you know, you don't, we don't put meaning on it. Like, and often we don't agree on what or a no. thing is about <laughs> or no, because we have our own idea about what it is. And yeah. um, So that's been really intriguing. But as it's gone on, I think we've definitely found our audience. And it's, mm. I mean, we've had weird ones where like, we did a, a Saturday night that was rammed and it was, you know, the audience were like, way. And then we did the Sunday night that was rammed and the audience were just quietly smiling. And we, <laughs> we were like, OK. Yeah. But, you know, equally oh. nice comments as people were leaving. But... Um, it's, yeah, it's it's just it's hard to know how to judge it from your own point yeah. of view because it, it, you can't be judged on how much money you take because sometimes you get a full room of students or people who just haven't got money or whatever or um, and sometimes you can have a full room of silent appreciation. Yeah, <laughs> you know? it's yeah, it's an interesting it's, one. Yeah. But it's been it's been great. We've yeah. loved doing it. I mean, it's and been, we're still talking. Yeah, we still like each yeah. other. So, if you met somebody on the street and had one minute to tell them why you should come and see your show, how would you sell it? <laughs> um, Lucy's got a baby uh, and really needs, you know, the money. And I want a wood-burning stove. So it's it's a celebration of character through the medium of sketch. And it could be described as silly, absurd, absurd um, ephemeral. Maybe not. A bit a uh, uh, clown. Yeah, there's a lot of clown in it. Um, it's just fun. It's an it's an hour of fun, and that's all we want to have. And it's just us having fun. And if you want to come and have fun too, and it's like it's that. it's loosely scripted as well. So there's a bit of improvisation in there too, and um, and free toffee fees for yeah. f- for fifteen free toff- people for fifteen people <laughs> a day because they you only get fifteen in a pack and they're, they really they're a pound us. so. This is longer than a minute, I think. Yeah, that, that was longer than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right, there you go. That's, That's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe.